I came up with the last dance. Last dance, we were doing it in 1998. Scotty took it to the team once he and I agreed that's what we were going to do. And the team bought into it. Phil Jackson bought into it. And then the media bought into it, hook, line, and sinker. But guess what else happened? The NBA. Y'all's the NBA. They came in and said, you know what? You're not going to do that last dance without us. We're going to do it with one of our licensees, and we're going to put the bull on it. Stop us if you can. That's what my life has been like with the licensing world. Them taking my ideas, my concepts, kicking me to the curb. And I got something to tell you that David Stern and Adam Silver did to me that I'll never, ever, ever forget. Actually, I was sitting with Scotty at his house. We were sitting there, a normal day. Uh, he had finished practice. We were at the house, relaxing uh, in his little man cave. And a phone call came in. And we were sitting there playing dominoes. And he said, hold on a second, it's Phil. So he answers the phone, hello? And I could hear Phil say, hey, Scotty, how you doing? And Scotty said, I'm fine. What's going on, Phil? And Phil said, hey, Scotty, I'm out of here. I'm done. And so they had a brief conversation. And then Scotty hung up the phone and said, hey, Ron, Phil just said that he's, he's out of here. I said, well, SP, we got to do something. Which, that next morning, it came to me. Let's do the last dance. 98. And so... I brought the concept and idea to Scotty. I said, Scotty, what do you think? Let's do Last Dance 98. He said, man, I like that. Let's do it. This is when Scotty woke up and saw the design. He liked it so much, he took a photo in the uh, living room at the condo. He's smiling, he liked it. And so I then went and created a logo. He took it to the team. And the team embraced it. And from there, he told me, hey, get this thing going. We then start putting it in uh, uh, different locations in the city, uh, from the Walgreens stores to supermarkets to people on the street peddling it to everywhere. We were getting the last dance out there. The players start wearing it under their jerseys. The NBA would not let me, they would not embrace me. They would not embrace me, and so, uh, the players embraced me, then Phil Jackson endorsed it. I have an endorsement letter from Phil, and then the media endorsed it. And then the next thing we know, we're in the run for the last dance. Instead, they can tie it or take the lead with a three of their own. Jordan. Here's the NBA come, just pushed me around, bullied me again. They end up making them shirts that said the last dance. Instead of them embracing a minority company, helping me, they threw me out of the way and took my designs and concept. And that's been my story from the NBA to the NFL to I'm in a situation even now. They don't have any minorities representing licensed apparel in sports. And that's a travesty. I've been trying to get in for 20 
years plus. That's why I've decided to tell my story, but to look on television and see where someone has taken your work and used it and have made millions. So did it in white. How's that white look? Last Dance, 98. I like the four well. No one's ever had one of these. Only Scotty wore one of these. It's a four well. It says Last Dance, 98. Sort of fashion statement. I've had the biggest names in the game endorse my work. Kobe thought I was brilliant. Many other athletes thought I was brilliant with my work. Why don't I deserve a chance?